I hope you enjoyed that video of the stock Gen 3 Coyote running with stock oil pump gears unopened. So for the people, if you're new to the channel or you're just stopping by to check this video out, this car does have stock oil pump gears. This Gen 3 Coyote 2018 has never been opened. It's almost got 20,000 miles on it. It does have the engine tick and it does have the piston slap noise in the oil pan, which a lot of the ticking noise comes from up top, that's the direct injection, but my car actually had the huge loud piston slapping rod knocking noise in the pan since day one. I've made a few videos on it back when I first got the car and I've never opened it since. And the reason for that is I always knew I was going to build the motor so I figured why not send it on this motor, see how far we can make it and see what we can do. And I think we accomplished a lot with it. I know the car could probably go a little bit faster but I've kind of been playing with fire with it at this point and I think I'm finally ready to actually build the motor. So I'm going to release some more of that info in the next video once we get the car to the back shop. But I want to make this one last video for you guys, for the people that haven't seen it. Um, it's got a lot of passes on it. You know, I went, I don't know how many, I probably went to four or five private track rentals. I went to Streetcar Takeover Oklahoma, I went to Streetcar Takeover Dallas, I went to Wichita Falls just for a test and tune, I went to Den for a test and tune. We figure the car, I haven't counted them, but it's probably got 40 to 50 passes on it and I haven't been light on the car. And like I said, it does have almost 20,000 miles so it's not like it's a brand brand new engine. It does have some miles on it and it does have all of the noises that these 18 and 19 Mustangs are known for. The engine tick that you guys hear. A lot of Fords have had that forever. However, the noise you hear from the top is definitely the direct injection. But like I said, mine made the noise from the pan. And you've seen some of those noises, if you haven't heard them, are pretty brutal. But I never had a problem with this car. It never even burned oil. I checked the oil after every weekend and it never burned a drip of oil. So not to say that anyone else's Mustang, that's not gonna affect it, but I'm just giving you my personal experience with mine. I never had a problem with it. This car ran awesome. And I've been waiting to make this video because I didn't want to jinx anything. Like, of course, I'd go make a video bragging about the stock oil pump gears and they would crack on me. So, I still highly recommend you do them. However, RPM is a big thing, plus turbo cars aren't as hard as on, as hard on the oil pump gears, but you got to think, if I have 40 to 50 passes, that's me on the two-step 40 to 50 passes. So. I'd say they took a beating, but I still, like I said, I still recommend people doing them. I just don't think they're as big of a deal as people make them out to be. But like I said, I was always planning on building the motor, so I didn't want to waste time and labor doing the oil pump gears and the sprocket when I knew I was going to have to do it for the built motor. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's tons of upgrades coming to the car, the biggest obviously being the built motor. And like I said, probably in the next video or two, I'll kind of go over exactly what we're doing with it because we do have to change a few things with the built motor. There's, a, there's some big changes coming. I wish I could tell you right now, but you're gonna have to stick around for the next few videos for it. But that's gonna conclude. I'm gonna retire it. I'm gonna retire the stock Gen 3 Coyote. It's getting retired. It's getting built. I'm really excited what's to come for this car. And uh, if you thought we went fast before, we're gonna go really fast now. So, really excited about it. Hopefully you guys are just as excited about it as I am. I'm gonna try and document as much as I can. Obviously we're not gonna be racing for probably a month minimum. I'm hoping it's no longer than four to six weeks, but you guys know how these builds go. I'm gonna try and get the parts in as fast as I can, but finances playing to that as well because I got to upgrade some other things at the same time we're upgrading the motor but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for sticking around I had an awesome time with this car with the stock gen 3 coyote motor it was a lot of fun pushing it and a huge thanks to all the companies involved Trey TG Motorsports BMR suspension motion raceworks streetcar Joe the man Joseph Young for helping out and uh, you guys are gonna want to see what we do next to this car hopefully you guys enjoyed the video I will see you guys on the next one they got problems, or problems, or problems, or problems, or problems, or problems, I solve them, I run through them